Thanks, Ev. Now, here at the fair, it takes so many volunteers, and some of the hardest working volunteers are high school students. So Jonathan Stuckey joins me now with the Junior Advisory Board. Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you. So tell me a little bit more about what are some of the things that the volunteers do? Well, there's uh, there's just a vast amount of uh, diverse things that the volunteers do, and so through the Junior Fair Board, we're able to see what all they do. So there's so many different committees, whether it be parade or out here at the ticket office or any anything like that, we're able to um, see, you know, kind of the the um, the background of what they do. And again, let's really stress here: what are the ages of the junior advisory board? Um, you can apply in your uh, spring of your tenth grade year, okay. um, but uh, it's eleventh and twelfth graders. And what are some of the requirements when you have to apply? Um, I guess you had to be in high school, of course, but um, uh, just a good uh, recommendation from teachers and friends, and uh, you'll have to go through an interview process. Uh, but if it's just something that you're remotely interested in, um, you know, it's it's there's not too many uh, stressful requirements. And about how many hours have you and the other volunteers put in, whether that's here this week or in general? Um, I've honestly haven't even counted up yet. Um, oh. I know last year. Um, I definitely got over 40 hours, I'm sure, during the week. They add, wow. up, they add up really quick. Uh, we had around five or six of us that got over 100 hours last year combined um, with all of our volunteer service. Um, but our requirements do um, say that we have to uh, have at least 20 hours during the week of the Peanut Festival. And what would you say is the busiest event that you guys do? Would it be the Peanut Festival? Oh, definitely. <laughs> all right. So tell us then what happens this week with you guys. How are you all hands-on? Um, well, we do everything from uh, handing out uh, pamphlets at the front gate and welcoming people to working at the cow show and the calf scramble and just everything that you could ever think of out here. And what has this whole experience taught you so far? Um, it just it just teaches me how strong our community can be to come together in uh, Thanksgiving and um, and and be to for here for our farmers. And can you be part of this board um, more than one year at a time? Yes, you can. Um, this is my second year, um, and this will be my last year, but you can definitely do you know, your 11th and 12th grade years. And what would you say is your favorite part about the fair or just this whole entire thing? That's such a hard question, but I think just being able to see the community come together um, for a very, very good cause. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much for joining yes, us. Thank you. Anytime. Well, guys, here's a look at more winners from this year's recipe contest.